Hello, this is Patricia Brooks, and this is Courage Concept number 54. We will touch more lives than we will know. So shine, baby, shine. Recently, I started playing my flute again after many, many years of not playing. And I tried to play a piece of music that I had nearly mastered when I was in high school. And it was written by a composer named George Philip Telemann, who was born in 1681 and died in 1767. And when I looked at that, those dates on that sheet of music, I said to myself, wow, <laughs> here it is. He was, he died 200 years before I was born, yet he is impacting my life. How amazing. And it made me think that, wow, we are just like George Philip Telemann. We might not be composers or authors, but the things that we do in this world matter because people are watching all of the time. People are being influenced by how we show up all of the time. So <laughs> it's important to shine, baby, shine. This concept goes to the catalyst for cultivating courage that is building self-confidence because shining is really showing up in your true nature, being true to who you are and not being afraid of standing out or being different. It's about sharing your gifts with the world and owning it. And this can be difficult to do. However, there are some tips that I will share with you that will help you to shine. One thing that I did recently was to create a website for my new program. And I reached out some, to some former clients to get some testimonials to put on that page. And they responded. And when I read their feedback, I was pleasantly surprised. It was so sincere. But not only that, the, the content was made me realize that the work that I do is impactful. It changes people's lives. And as a life coach, I should know that. And I do know that. But it's not often that I'm reminded of how the work I do impacts people. And so as I read those testimonials, my shoulders sat back and I was smiling and I was shining. It felt really good. So this leads into some things that you can do in order for you to build your self-confidence so that you can shine, so that you can show up in a way that positively influences others and shows others that it's okay to shine as well. So the first thing that you can do is think back to a time when you accomplished something that you didn't think that you could. What was the situation and what were all the things you had to overcome to accomplish it? And what did you finally accomplish? Write all those things down and reflect on that. You can use this as a confidence anchor anytime you feel down on yourself. Or maybe you're going to do something that's outside of your comfort zone and you need a little boost of confidence. Remind yourself of this thing you didn't think you could do, but did it anyway. All right, that's one tip. The second tip I have for you is, much like I did with my past clients and asking for testimonials, you could ask a couple of friends to share the qualities uh, that you have that they see in you. Um, ask for three qualities and then reflect on those. And chances are they're going to be positive qualities. And these will be things that you can use as anchors as well. Anytime that you feel less than confident, anytime that you want to share something with the world that might make you stand out a little bit, you can come back to this idea. We will touch more lives than we will know. So shine, baby, shine. That's all I have for you today. I will see you again next time. Bye.